This is part two, the front. Today's tutorial video is a five part series. We're working on the Bernat Easy Going Knit Pullover. This is a needle knit pattern by Yarnspirations.com. This is part two of our five part series. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. Working on uh, from the bottom all the way up to the top and we're going to be working the different shoulders. Now, if you're watching the right hand video, everything looks great to you. But if you're working the uh, left handed video, I'm going to say work on a certain shoulder. You're going to do whatever I'm showing on camera. So it'll be the opposite uh, shoulder for you. And I think it's just going to be easier to do that way uh, rather than fully what the directions are telling you just because um, there's no way that I can sit and like say all the stuff correctly for the left-handed one because physically you're going to be flipping it. So it's just easier for me. Know that every time you're seeing me knit on a left-handed video, it's just flipping of the camera uh, to get the reverse for you. All right, let's begin. Okay, so you have worked the um, back panel that you did the last video and now we want to do the front panel it just says body because it really represents both so you're going to be uh, working up to this point uh, already with the uh, skills that you learned in the last video I'm going to walk you through that uh, right now and then uh, we will uh, start really the tutorial part of this video from here upwards because that's where it changes okay so let's uh, move back over to the page where it says front and you're going to go here and it says work from the double asterisk to the double asterisk as given for the back. So you move over here and find the first double asterisk and it's right here where it says cast on. So it's the same exact cast on as you did before doing the twisted ribbing for two inches and then you go into your textured pattern. Okay. And then you just continue that four row repeat until you get the 19 inches. Now the double asterisk doesn't stop until here where it says shape armholes, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just talk you through this part in the next part here. So go ahead and work the first 19 inches and let's look at it on the diagram. Okay. So if you're looking at this photo here, this diagram, you're working this bottom two inches here. Okay and then 17 inches of the textured pattern. So when you measure it, you're measuring from here to here. Okay, so go ahead and work that. Pause your video, and when you come back, we will start shaping the armholes. See you in a moment. We have continued in our pattern until from the very beginning of the ribbing measures 19 inches from here all the way to here. And I just completed a uh, row number four, which is a purl row. And so I finished, uh, ended on a wrong side row, ready to start a right side row. And uh, we are going to start our shaping of the armholes. So we're going to continue in the pattern and cast off the first four stitches at the beginning of the next two rows. And these are the stitches that you end up with. 55 for the small, 59 for the medium, 65 for the large, 71 for extra large, 83 for 2 or 3x, and 89 for the 4 or 5x. All right, let's go ahead and do that so you know how to bind off. Okay, so we're going to begin by binding off uh, and knitting these first two stitches. So knit one and knit two, and then lift up and over this first stitch going up and over the second, and then you count that as one bind off, okay? So don't count how many you're knitting here. We want to just count every time we have a bind off. So that's one, work the next one, lift up and over, that's two, work the next one, lift up and over, that's three, and the next one, up and over, that's four. All right, continue working this row and knitting across all the way until the very last stitch and complete that one with the knit as well. Continue and pause your video now and I'll meet you back up at the end. See you soon. Okay, we want to bind off four more stitches. I'm going to uh, do a purl bind off here. So we're just going to purl this first stitch and then purl the next stitch. And the same thing as before, we're going to lift the back stitch over the front, 
and bind off one and purl the next stitch and lift up and over and that's two purl the next stitch and lift up over that's three and purl the next and lift up over Oops. There we go. And that's four. Okay. And uh, now we want to uh, continue in our pattern. So we don't need a knit one because we've already started this pattern in. We want to look uh, on the other side here and see that our very next stitch lines up with a knit one below. You see these double bars here. So I need to make sure I move my yarn to the back and we're going to knit one below and then go into uh, purling. So move that yarn to the back again, or the front again, and purl, knit one below, and continue just as you did before, okay? Okay, so we're going to uh, continue on until the very last stitch, and go ahead and make that a knit one. All right, continue on, and I'll meet you back for the next step. Okay, so we have uh, worked until we've got our shaped armholes. We're going to double check our numbers right here and then we've ended our asterisk section. So we're going to move on to uh, this area here where it says work from uh, these two asterisk sections that we just did. And now you're going to continue in the pattern even until your armhole measures uh, these lengths here. And uh, of course you've got the metric as well but you're gonna be working five inches for the small, six for the medium, six and a half for the large, seven for the extra large and two or three XL, and seven and a half for the um, four or five XL. And ending on a wrong side row, and when we come back, you'll be on a right side row, and we'll work on to the next part. Go ahead and do that, and pause your video, and I'll meet you back for the next step. Okay, you've worked this desired length and we're moving on to the next part, which is shape neck and the next row. Now we have this little section here and then another shape shoulder and then we come to uh, this part up here where it just kind of continues and then shape the other shoulder. So uh, let's jump over to the diagram so I can kind of show you. So we have the front and back sort of combined in this diagram here. Uh, the back of it was more straightforward and you can see the line at the very top, but this curved line for the neck is what we're gonna be working on now. So we're gonna be working over here and uh, working on this shoulder here and then at the neck area, holding stitches, and then we'll be working this neck and then binding that part off. So let's get started on that part. Now I suggest you grab a couple stitch markers because we're going to mark some things on your panel which I think make it easier. So grab a stitch marker and go ahead and mark your number uh, right where your needles are here. So we're going to mark out uh, this number of stitches and put in a stitch marker. Mine is 20 for the small and then we're going to be working those first 20 here for a moment. So uh, the sizes for you, the small is 20, medium 22, large 24, extra large 27, 2 or 3x 33, and 4 or 5x is 36 inches. And that's going to be our neck edge. And then we're going to turn it and work on our spare needle. And then we'll do something else, so I'll come back to this in a moment. So I want you to also do another stitch marker. I also put uh, beyond that stitch marker, I put another one. And this is just to show, this is where the neck of my piece is, just, just a visual reminder if you need it. Um, I think it's kind of nice because we're gonna be decreasing uh, at this area, the neck part, and then over on the other side later. And it's a good reminder to have a visual. So uh, go ahead and mark those stitches, pause your video as you need. And we're just going to work in pattern these 20 stitches and then turn. So go ahead and pause your video and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I've gotten to the end where my stitch marker is. We just take that off. 
you don't need that now and it says to leave remaining stitches on a spare needle if you have a cable like I do and you don't mind it hanging there it'll just sort of these stitches will just kind of hang out so uh, you can leave them on there or you can put them on a spare uh, cable or um, stitch holder there's a, quite a lot so a stitch holder doesn't fit it very well so just turn and remember to only work with those stitches that we just marked off, okay? All right, now the um, continuing of the pattern uh, keeps going, but we're going to be decreasing one stitch at the neck edge. So that's this side that we had the little extra stitch marker here. So you're always going to decrease at the neck edge on the next four rows, and then um, I'll show you what we do after that. So the way I think you should decrease on here is to um, go ahead and make it to where it's going to look like a knit on the other side. So that means you're gonna be working purl stitches because you're on the wrong side uh, for this particular one. And go ahead and work the first stitch. I'm gonna purl it. I know that's not the standard pattern, but I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm gonna purl it so it has a knit stitch here. And then now we want to decrease these stitches here. So go ahead and look at the pattern on the other side. This row is going to be one that I need to have the uh, row two with a knit one below. And because these two stitches together are going to be right where a knit, two, uh, knit one below is, I'm just going to go ahead and knit these two together. So I'm going to go into both stitches just as if to knit and then I knit them together. And oops, let's put our yarn to the back. Don't forget to do that because we're not purling. And we've knit those two together. All right, so we've decreased one at the neck edge and continue to the end of the row in pattern. Okay, so wait, that one's gonna be a purl. And then we get back into pattern, knit one below and continue on. And I'll show you how to decrease on the next row. See you in a moment. Okay, this last stitch, I uh, had a knit two below and then knit one. Okay, turn that over. Okay, the beginning of this row is not at the neck edge, so we're not decreasing over here. So go ahead and knit this row and you'll knit all the way up to the last three stitches. Go ahead and do that. Pause your video as you need. We're on our last three stitches and we need to decrease because we're at the neck. That's again where we've got this little stitch marker here. And I want to knit these two together, okay? So we're just gonna do just as we did before, make sure your yarn is in the back because you've just been knitting across, of course. Go ahead and knit those together. And then this last stitch, go ahead and knit that one. And by knitting those two together, we've continued in our pattern and then we have a nice uh, knit edge here. So I'm going to show you how to make decisions based upon the um, pattern row that you're on for the stitch pattern, uh, how to make these decreases. So this next decrease is gonna be a little different. Go ahead and turn that over and we need to make our third decrease because we just made our second. And uh, purl this first stitch again. Again, we want our right side to have a nice clean edge for uh, seaming together. That's why I'm making that choice here. And this next stitch, or these next two stitches, the decrease is purl two together. That's my choice, so that on the right side, it looks like two knit two together, and it continues up that knit column look. Okay, it's just a cleaner edge. You can still knit two together, uh, but I, I'm choosing to purl. So go ahead and yarn over and go through both of those, purling them together and then continue on your pattern. So uh, you're just gonna continue by uh, purling all of these stitches to continue in pattern. Pause your video and I'll meet you for the next decrease. See you soon. And this is our last decrease in a row on each row. Go ahead and knit these two stitches together. So we're at the last three stitches of that row after I had just gone ahead and worked up to it. So if you need to pause your video and then uh, resume it here, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and knit this last stitch and pause if you need to. We're gonna go ahead and turn it over and work on the next part of the instructions. Okay, now our instructions is right after, there's a comma and then it says, then on the following right side rows, twice more. That means you're decreasing twice more. So this is a wrong side row. So we're going to continue the pattern as usual. This is a row where I need to work it patterned. So I'm going to go ahead and make one change and make that very first stitch 
a purl stitch instead of that knit again for the edge of where the neck is and then uh, follow this pattern here so uh, when you're not sure just go ahead and purl it to get that uh, knit column look and then look down see okay now I'm at the where that double bump is for that knit one below put the yarn to the back and knit one below and purl and continue to the end and then we'll do our next decrease pause your video and I'll see you there okay so this is our next decrease go ahead and uh, work your knit stitches all the way across until the last three stitches just as you've done before and do a knit two together to decrease so really I'm just showing you this so that you have a uh, a reminder an audio visual <laughs> reminder to do that row and uh, then you're going to complete the wrong side row behind that which is all pearls so I'm not going to show the wrong side on this next one go ahead and uh, work across pause your video as needed and I will see you for the second decrease when you are back on a right side row and in fact I've already gotten to this one last three stitches knit two together okay and then we're going to, oh and I caught some of that fabric or that yarn so let me just undo that you can see this roving I accidentally caught that all right knit two together and then knit this last one okay and you can see how nicely this uh, edge is coming along I just like it nicer at the collar uh, for picking up uh, the stitches and and knitting them it just has a much cleaner uh, edge to to grab onto when we start adding this cowl in here okay well, that was pulled but that's okay it'll be hidden when we do the seam all right uh, let's do our wrong side rows uh, I'll meet you back up uh, for the very last one uh, the last increase on the right side see you soon we've got our last three stitches we're going to uh, go ahead and knit these two together and I've already counted to check but this is a good time uh, and finish this last stitch out this is a good time to go ahead and make sure that your stitches uh, remain as uh, what's in the pattern so I'm going to grab that and remind you okay so I have ended it where I have 14 stitches left on my size and the other sizes uh, you need 16 18 21 27 or 30 stitches so you've got all your decreases done and now you're just going to continue even in the pattern until the armhole measures the same length as the back to shoulder ending on a wrong side so let me show you my other part here the other piece which is the back okay this is my back panel you can see where those uh, bound off stitches are and um, I like to count these bumps where that special row was that row two so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is the easiest way to me to count and make sure they're right I have twelve and then I have uh, ended it on that last pearl row so it finished out that uh, four row repeat so I'm just gonna go on this one here and see where I am so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then I need to do two more of these so I've finished out here and I need to make two more of these repeats and end on a purl row so uh, then I want you to go ahead and work on that and get to the one that matches your back panel and then uh, you'll pause your video so pause your video now and meet me back up when you get to that point and we'll finish out uh, the rest of the instructions see you soon okay so this is your neck area we've got our remaining stitches and we're going to start to do our bind off it's really it's just binding half the stitches and then the remaining stitches but there's a specific number and you'll want to follow that it's exactly the same as when you did your back panel and has that stair stepped look to it so I'm going to grab the directions and show you again we're at the shape shoulder continue uh, keeping continuing of the pattern cast off these many stitches which is seven eight nine ten thirteen or fifteen stitches at the beginning of the row and then work one row even that's on the wrong side and then cast off the remaining stitches and go ahead and just leave like a six or nine inch tail that you can weave in later uh, because we're not going to be sewing this shoulder uh, immediately it's actually going to um, be closer at the collar that we're going to add on in uh, part four of this series so go ahead and do that and then um, we'll meet you back up 
when you get to here at the very top of the next uh, column here on the pattern. All right, pause your video and I'll meet you at that point. Okay, so I'm completed on that shoulder and now let's move on to our other directions. Okay, so my next directions, let's pull it over here so you can see it with me together. We have the right side facing and we're gonna slip the next amount of stitches onto a stitch holder and rejoin the yarn to the remaining stitches and pattern to the end of the row. So uh, what we need to do is um, slip them onto a stitch holder and your number should be um, 15 for the small, medium sizes and then the remainder of the sizes are 17 stitches onto your stitch holder and then we'll rejoin the yarn together. So let's do that now. All right, so I've got my stitch uh, holder here. I've already marked my stitches that I need with a um, little stitch marker here on the cable. And let's go ahead and slip them. And of course you can use scrap yarn, you can use another uh, needle that's long enough, it's not gonna slip off. You might need point protectors if you're using say a double pointed needle or something uh, so that they don't fall off. Whatever you wanna use to hold them. And I may transfer this stitch holder to one of my uh, cables for my interchangeable later on, but for now, I think this is an easy way to just get them right off. Because uh, I may need to grab it from uh, either side uh, later on, so I may have to transfer it onto a needle. I'm just letting you know in case I fail to mention that later on. Okay, so I've got my number of stitches, and we want to rejoin and continue in pattern for the remainder of your stitches or your row. So take our yarn. And this is how you would join. Uh, in fact, this is how you would do it if you uh, had to change yarn, which you probably already have had to join yarn uh, earlier in your project. But uh, joining new yarn, you're just going to go into the next stitch and grab that. Leave a nice long tail. And I just hold it in my non-dominant hand, yarn over and pull through a stitch. Let's get that on through nice and tight and because this is a um, right side row we're only knitting across okay all right go ahead and work that remaining row pause your video and I'll meet you back up for the next step see you soon I am on my wrong side row. I've actually started this row and I'm three stitches from the end, but you will be beginning it. I happen to be on a row where I needed to be uh, starting my pattern. Now you may be on a purl row for this one, uh, but when I say um, what I'm doing, I just want you to know, just in case when your math worked out that that's the one you're on, you could be on a row two or four of the main stitch pattern. So this is how I'm treating rows that have this particular um, stitch pattern on it because it matters when you're decreasing. Same on the other shoulder that we just did. So I, I, I began this one just as normal, as same normal stitching, and then we worked all the way three from the end. So I'm gonna give you instructions and then you'll pause and do this one yourself. So I'm all the way down to here. My last stitch was purled. I'm gonna go ahead and put the yarn to the back and I'm going to work these two stitches together, but I'm going to slip slip knit. So uh, that way it's going to have the two double purl bumps in the back. Uh, so it'll look like pearls here. And we're going to go ahead and slip through the first stitch, slip through the next stitch, and then put our needle into those two stitches. Okay. And then knit through the back loop. All right. And then we move on to uh, the next one. And this would normally uh, be knit, but I want again to have that uh, knit on the uh, wrong side, or actually on our right side. So go ahead and put the yarn uh, to the front and purl that stitch. And it might be a little bit tricky because you have a loose stitch with that beginning strand. Okay, so go ahead and just tighten that on up, turn it over, and we've done our first decrease, okay? 
So this is the same as before where you're decreasing at the neck and it's really easy to tell because now the neck has the stitch uh, holder on it. So uh, all of these next four rows are going to, well actually the next three rows because you just done one decrease, are going to have decreases at the uh, side here. So go ahead and um, work again this row with a decrease. So we're going to work the first stitch with a knit, okay? And now we're going to slip slip knit. So slip the stitch, slip the stitch, and then knit both through the back loop, and then knit to the end. And then work your next row and go all the way uh, to the last three stitches, and I'll show you that one. It's a little bit different. Pause your video, and I will see you there. Okay, so you may have guessed it. We're actually going to slip slip purl on this one because we just did an entire purl row and I want to make my stitches lean a certain direction. So we're going to make sure our yarn is in the front. We're going to slip them just as we did on slip slip knit, except you're gonna transfer them back over to the other needle. So slip them back over just straight through. And now you're going to purl them. So now you can put your needle uh, set it up just like when you purl and then purl them both together Okay, just a little extra step there. All right, and then finish out that with a purl one Oops. Okay, and then you've got uh, your next decrease at the beginning here as well and you're just going to be knitting one and then slip slip knit just as before and then working that through the back loop together and finish out this row. Pause your video and I will meet you back up for the next part. See you soon. Okay, so we have uh, decreased uh, our four rows and now you're just going to be, just like we did on the other side, you're gonna be working a wrong side row and then decrease uh, on the following uh, right side rows twice more to get your final remaining number of stitches. And let me show you that pattern. So these are the numbers again, you're on this part here. We just did this one. So you're gonna have, after you decrease twice more on the right side, you've got 14, 16, 18, 21, 27, and 30 stitches. And then you're going to uh, continue in the pattern until the armhole measures the same length uh, as the back shoulder uh, that you did, um, just like you did on the other side, ending on a right row. I do want to interrupt what I said when I said knit that part of the length. Uh, I went ahead and purled on the wrong side the last two stitches so that on the right side here uh, it has uh, an imitation of what we had on the other side. So if you didn't catch that, uh, you could go back and do it. Uh, but yeah, work the, um, the stitches on the next side as uh, two purl stitches on the wrong side. That way you uh, can keep that patterning going on. And um, yeah, I'm nearly there. I'm on my uh, 12th uh, bump here that I did. And then uh, I'm going to uh, start the, uh, the bind off. So, all right. Uh, and then you should have, um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and count this and do this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and purl across this and I will be uh, close to the um, uh, that same length as the back armhole and uh, then uh, we're going to do this one a little bit different and end on a right side row to shape so I'll just meet you back at the shape shoulder part and um, and uh, that'll be good so measures the same length as the back shoulder is the instruction ending on a right side row uh, that means that you will be making your shaping of your shoulders on a um, on a wrong side row and so your um, your stitches are going to be a purl bind off okay so I didn't say that in the instructions before so I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that so I'll join you for that just as a reminder about the purl bind off uh, when you get to that point all right pause your video and I'll see you in a moment okay so I've worked my stitches and we're ending on a right side row if you notice on our 
front, it says to end on a right side row. You're going to, in this case, um, work it on a, uh, you're binding off on the uh, wrong side, which is a purl bind off, and then you work another row and then you cast off the remaining stitches. So um, this is a, a little bit different and that way it forces the stitches in the other direction and you actually end towards the neck. So that's where your tail ends up being. So let me show what that looks like. Okay, so uh, we're here and we just want to uh, purl bind off and go, do one and then two and then lift up and over and that's one bind off and then purl the next stitch same thing that's two bind off and then continue on okay so you're just going to use the number that it says here uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, or 15 stitches, and then work another row, which will actually be on the right side, and then um, it says work, work one row even, but it really should say um, odd because it's... <sighs> I, I just it just means work across uh, and then cast off remaining stitches and they're they're there again it only changes a couple of the, the sizes stitches but it's basically the rest of the stitches pause your video and I'll meet you back up to show you what this looks like see you soon okay so I have finished with my neck portion this whole front panel is done we've already got our back panel and next up is the sleeves for part three Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Happy knitting. Be sure and click down below and type in your comments if you have any questions. And if, again, if you're changing any sizes, please reach out to the design team at yarnspirations.com. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.